Okay, so I'm going to take a look at GNOME, uh, GNOME Shell 3.4 on, well, 3.4.1, running on Ubuntu 1204 LTS, uh, precise pangolin or pangolin. I'm not too sure you say it really, but anyways, there's a little bit of a worry at first that GNOME Shell wasn't going to make it to the repositories. Oh, not GNOME Shell, I'm sorry, GNOME 3.4, but it made it after all. You know what I mean? Along with 3.4 came, you know, all the, the newer shell, you know, the upgraded shell. Um, it's basically the same thing as before. If you're used to shell already, uh, 3.4.1 is pretty much the same thing. Um, some minor tweaks, some minor little new things here and there, but not really much. You know what I mean? It's basically stability and bug fixes and whatever, which is a good thing. So, uh, one thing I noticed right away is the overview, right? So, if you launch a browser like this, then you go to your your far right over here and let go it creates a desktop on top and bottom like that uh, that wasn't there before right I'm not too sure what, what that's about but I guess it's to lock a desktop or make or make a desktop or create a uh, its own little session I guess or something but it's gone so let me try doing this so there now it's back so anyways that's that's there <laughs> also just like before to launch application you know um, you have your dash right you can either click on it like so or click and drag like this to make another one or middle click to send it to another desktop so I'm going to middle click and now I'm on a different workspace down here so anyways if you're, if you're in your, like a different directory in your Nautilus folder like this I'm going to go to my picture directory so now I'm in my picture directory. But if I'm uh, on the upper desktop up here, if I go up to the file browser, the little icon, and right click, you can see I have a bunch of uh, home folders open, which is this right here. But it also shows my picture directory. So if I click on that, it sends me back down to the proper you know, browser. So that's pretty cool. That feature's been there for a while, but I don't know if people know about that one or not. But anyways, um, you know, if you're a keyboard kind of a person, you know, you still have your your uh, your Alt Tab, right? It's still there. Same thing. They're not going. I don't think they're ever going to get rid of that. Of course, that's too useful. Also, the switch workspace is Control Alt down, Control Alt up, um, or just you know swipe to the left and come over here to the right and you know click here, click there, whatever. Or with your mouse, just flick up and down, like so. That also changes workspaces. Um, the mouse wheel if you you can zoom like this on certain applications to bring them forward to kind of see what they are and that's been there for a while too so anyways close that off close off okay and some new stuff that I've noticed as well is certain uh, applications are integrated to the top uh, oh, what's it called the uh, the panel I guess um, it's more like kind of like a global menu I mean if you click up here you have these little drop down menus like sub menus and stuff like that only on certain applications not all of them just a, uh, just a, a handful uh, hopefully you know that'll be a, um, more applications will be you know supported later on and of course if you don't like it you know shell being shell I'm pretty sure that someone's gonna write an extension that will get rid of it, that feature as well you know what I mean so that's pretty cool and uh, like before you still have your notifications at the bottom if you right click and remove it see what I mean you still get your little notifications um, that's something I really like about Shell is the notification system. Uh, that that's really good for workflow for me. You know what I mean? I, if someone IMs me, I can see what they what they said, and I can message them back right away if I'm writing out a document or if I'm uh, browsing a web or whatever. It, it's really good for workflow. I do like it a lot. But anyways, that's still there, of course. And uh, pretty much in a nutshell, that's pretty much it, really. Um, your applications overview is still the same. You know what I mean? You can either click this little bar right here to to uh, to move it up and down or like before you can get the mouse and flick it up or flick it down like this I like that better you know it's quicker that way for me or just uh, your mouse wheel or your sub menus like this you know what I mean and also uh, just like before you can type in your your name of the application and find it first you know find it that way if you want to a little bit easier but um but yeah I guess one thing I would like to see uh, improved on I guess is the uh, the overview the default overview is what I'm trying to say so like um, so say like right now okay I have no applications running at all no no uh, file browsers no applications nothing is just uh, blank right so nothing's running and I swipe up to the left 
and right away it shows Windows, right? Windows applications, but there's nothing there. So I, th I would think, you know, the default action should be applications, right? That would make more sense to me, right? So if I have nothing running and I swipe up to the left, the first thing I should see is the applications first. But if there's a window open, then that's fine. You know, if I swipe up to the left, then sure, you know, why not have this first so I can do my thing and move it around? But yeah, that's one thing I kind of wanted to hope to see kind of like, you know, improved on. Maybe there'll be an extension or something. That's one thing I do like about Shell, you know, uh, default shell's kind of crappy, but you know, you know. Luckily, there's a you know extensions. You know, you can you can modify shell to your liking to a degree. Not not necessarily as as much as GNOME 2, but you know what I mean. It's it's there. Some customability is there. And also, um, I get this question quite a bit over the past six months. You know, do I prefer Unity or do, do I prefer GNOME shell? Um, that's really a, right now. That's kind of a toss up for me. Uh, before I would have said shell because of Ogneric, because that Ogneric ocelot on my my laptop on my my desktop was really slow. There was something up with it. Uh, now with Precise, it's really quick and it's real snappy. And and there's a lot of useful features with Unity that I like a lot. Uh, however, you know, I mean, um, with shell, there's a lot of integrated stuff that I like with with shell that Unity doesn't have, like with Instant Messenger. And overall, it's to me personally, it's a little bit snappier because it doesn't really use Compiz, or it doesn't use Compiz at all. Um, and that's one of the little things about Unity I don't like. You know, it's just it's it's a Compiz plugin, and there's some bugs with that. You know what I mean? So once Unity gets all that stuff rounded off, you know, I'll probably be more of a Unity user. But at the moment, because of the performance and some of the bugs on Unity, I'm primarily using Shell at the moment. But then again, because of precise, you know, having you know the option to use either Unity or Shell or the fallback, you it's really doesn't it doesn't really matter. You know, I mean you can pick whatever you want. That's pretty cool. That's what I like about this newer uh, Ubuntu 12.04. It's pretty much a little bit for everybody. You know, you got the fallback mode with Compiz, you got GNOME Shell 3.4.1, and also you got Unity. You know what I mean, with with its new features, so that's it's pretty cool. It's a good it's a good time now, not like before when pretty much everybody was like scared and not knowing what they're going to move to and what they're going to, you know, what dish store they're going to try next or whatever, you know. It's finally starting to, you know, work itself around. Bugs are starting to get squashed. Uh, there's a lot of improvements going on, you know what I mean? So it's it's kind of a good place to be at right now. So that's where I'm kind of staying for a little bit. So anyways, uh, that's it for now and I'll see you guys later. I'll probably do another video on the fallback mode uh, in a little, probably like tomorrow or something. So anyways, see you guys later.